Wallet or Wallet or is according to him or is it him? Balzac Puccini is going down his nap, he's signaling this is um, like in history of the world had books. <laughs> what a hilarious comedy. Um, it, it's it's an unconventional cookbook to quote um, Bernard Russell on uh, Wittgenstein, was it? Okay, that philosophy, which is hermetic, I guess. Uh, this is not a conventional cookbook. Not a conventional history of the world. <laughs> you have people coming with, in a Roman Senate with uh, loudspeakers with a stereo. <laughs> Won't you take me to Funky Town? So I. It's, it's. And they're voting in the Roman Senate. Some, so it's not a quote, but the line is something like. Roman senators, what shall we do? Shall we give more tax incentives? I mean, they probably surely didn't say tax incentives, but something to the poor, or shall we um, cut taxes for the rich? And the answer is, fuck the poor. <laughs> um, well, uh, that's what Puccini said in his uh, fireman descending the poor move. Uh, Variety was not very generous to water poor this movie, saying something like, in its quest for awards recognition, again, it's, it's not a quote, but they said something like, uh, the film is too cautious, it has some fundamental major themes, but I, I thought uh, maybe aware of this uh, review and the fact that it has an average score, a meta score of only about 50, it's in the yellow, so it looks like um, the experts have not been, the critics have not been elated. I had low expectations. One rule of positive psychology um, encourages you to lower your expectations because then you will be uh, surprised and you'll get more than you'll be happy. Happier. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Miguel de Unamuno is at the center of this. Um, movie, um, which takes place in and around 1936, uh, the year of the military coup in Spain, followed by the infamous uh, civil war, which has attracted so many people coming from America, from England, the Soviet Union, all over the world, Hemingway among those. Uh, there and making it uh, literally even more famous with his uh, farewell to arms, for instance, for whom the bell tolls. Um, I've read recently, and it's on our blog. Subscribe, click. <laughs> Just, uh, it's good as it is, with very few watching. Well, then nobody is complaining. Um, so, comrade, the case of Comrade Tulai, Victor Serge, uh, where we have the important chapters dedicated to the Civil War, and what they did, how the Soviets sent some aid but sent the wrong sometimes the wrong people, then uh, there was infighting, they, they had even their uh, executions and mock trials and uh, 
Trotsky, Trot, Trotskyism pushed against the wall, and so much more. So there was there was violence, there was uh, disgusting, the disgusting communist uh, take and the influence and corruption of things we've been under communism. So that's another thing. That's uh, exactly as fascism. People, for some reason, uh, at least in Europe, well, and that's where there's a problem with America with you know, occupying Capitol Hill and white supremacists and so on. That there's, there's, they have a problem there with the Trump supporters, voters. Not 75 million would be fascists and extremists, but a lot of them are. And crazy. Thinking QAnon is uh, a truthful theory, not a conspiracy. But lizard people, pedophiles, Trump the savior. Mm, <sighs> so <clears throat> let me try and come come back to the civil war, which was indeed that's the connection. From. A fight basically between fascists and the left wing, with with many factions. Many uh, they were anarchists. They were, they were, it wasn't really indeed the fa fascists and the communists, and that's it. Uh, it. There were a lot, many shades of grey and I guess some purple, some pink. Some, I don't know. Um, here we have. Miguel de Unamuno, the, 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 the time, the, the most celebrated, the greatest poet of Spain, uh, still one of the great, but at that time he was alive, he was a living hero. Uh, people come to ask for autographs from, from the army, from the right side of the barricade, right in the sense of right wing, not right as correct. And he has a very... Uh, complicated relationship. He, he's a man who has been a socialist when young, and they reproach him that, but he says, I was young, and indeed there was that joke, who's not a communist socialist, but when young, has no heart, who is still a commun communist socialist, when old, has no brains. Um, and um, so he changed, uh, but he's not comfortable, and then he's very much against uh, the military, the, the General Franco, who takes over at one point, and the lunatics they have there. And the result is a, a, a conflictual um, interaction from one point on, at least. He's trying to work with them because he has at least two friends in custody and in danger of being executed, which they will be, eventually. Uh, spoiler alert here, maybe. Um, yeah, but it's also threatened, I mean, there's a, a, a sort of a climax, or one of the climaxes, when he's addressing the university, he, his home, as you say, his temple. Uh, they reinstate him as president, but Again, it's, it's very, then they, but they expect him to preside the commission for, for purging the enemy. And he says, what is this? This is political. Get those dossiers here, only to ask them back because he has, he has friends arrested and he wants to look in the dossiers and he wants to save them. He intervenes for them. He it's not what did I do it. Call an ambulance for me. I have a heart attack. Execution squad, enemy of the people, my heart. What was I saying? I was talking about history of the world right there, Mel Brooks. Okay, to continue, so Mel Brooks is in front is... Okay, to, to finish before I die here, live on TV. Um, in the university, he's addressing a crowd of people. Uh, and um, he, he is attacking this new 
what is this uh, the, uh, uh, amor de la muerte or something uh, uh, live death no long live death whatever that would be in Spanish uh, what is what is this which is indeed nonsensical you would think long live death viva el muerte or <laughs> And uh, he, he goes on and attacks, and they say, traitor, shoot him. They take out the guns, and it's the wife of Franco who says, come, come with me. Don Miguel, come, come. And he, he, he's out and saved this time, at least. Uh, but it was close, and it was also uh, emblematic so to say, of his uh, position. He is talking supposedly on their behalf, defending I mean, the, the, lending his status as a, as a luminary, as a super intellectual, as a celebrity, as a man who is Nobel Prize material, and they mentioned that. Uh, but then he's turning the tables and they they are ready to kill him, to shoot him then and there, which they did with so many. So it's not. Um, I, I thought the film was was excellent. Is excellent.